What's up, everybody? It's time for another Dave's Toolbox, the weekly series where I talk about the software I use in my daily life, either personal or professional. Today, I want to talk about personal productivity, specifically a tactic that millions of people pulled out of Cal Newport's classic book, Deep Work. It's the concept of time blocking. If you're not familiar with that, here is the TLDR. Essentially, you just write down everything you want to get done in a day. And then on another sheet of paper, you write down what time of day you're going to do those things. Cal has a video that instructs you on the little symbolism he uses to move things around when things get shifted or if things don't go quite as you, you planned. He's got some ways to manipulate that. However, as a digital first human being, I always struggle to pull open my Cal Newport planner. That's right. He actually sells a planner that you can buy if you want to do time blocking. This is not cheap, by the way. It is $25 and it lasts you for about, uh, I think, three months. So you have to buy four of these per year if you want to use the official time blocking planner. Now, there's no reason you couldn't just do this in a regular notebook because the planner really is nothing super special. It's just a grid. Let me show you what it looks like. So I love the idea of time blocking, but I don't love the idea of pen and a paper, especially I like to plan my days in the morning for some reason. Doing it at the end of the day just doesn't really work with my brain. I like to do it fresh in the morning. All right, here's everything that I know needs to get done today, and then I'm going to plan it out. Uh, and I usually do that, you know, kind of when I'm drinking coffee, I'll do some Wordle on my phone, and then I'll start to think about what I need to do for the rest of the day. And so pulling out the planner never really happened for me. So I was delighted when I stumbled upon an app called Structured, which has become a mainstay in my daily routine planning. So this is Structured, and this is obviously the Mac app. There is also an iOS and Android app. It works on your Apple Watch as well as your iPad. So if you're in the Apple ecosystem and you have an Android phone, you're good to go. If you're in the Windows ecosystem, this app is not available yet. I don't know if they have plans for a Windows app, but there's certainly no reason it couldn't even just be web-based other than maybe some of the features which I'm going to show you in a second. But you can see basically this is a time block planner, but there's some AI features that make it absolutely a no brainer to use. And I'll show you those in a second. Now, this is legitimately my day. It's a Sunday. I'm kind of taking things easy. I walked the dogs after I woke up, went to the grocery store, got back from the grocery store, and I'm recording this YouTube video before I plan to watch the Minnesota Twins on TV. So, you know, I don't have a whole heck of a lot going on today but it's all planned out even though it's kind of a lazy Sunday. I want to walk you through some of the interface here just so you get a feel for kind of how Structured works. So we've got this icon right here, which is obviously a little alarm clock. You can see it's a different color than some of these other tasks. That's because this is a reoccurring task inside of Structured. So every morning at 8 a.m., I wake up. Okay, do that. Cool. Check it off, which I can do from my watch, from my phone. Um, you know, if you don't check it off, you still woke up. Everything's all good. Then these purple tasks are ones that I added, as I mentioned, through Structured AI. I could also just add them manually, but we'll go into all of adding the tasks and everything in a moment. Then if I scroll into my day a little bit, I've got this item right here, which also looks different. That's because it's coming in from a synced calendar. I actually subscribe to a Minnesota Twins schedule and I've got it to pull into structure so that I can always know when the games are on. I like to watch them. It's the one way I kind of kick back and do something for myself, just enjoy uh, some baseball, really big baseball fan. So being able to do that and having it right inside of my day planner, obviously, sometimes I don't get to watch every game. There's 162 of them, but I can kind of look when I'm planning out my day. Is there any way I can squeeze that in? And that just makes life a little bit better. After the game, I'm going to check in on Basecamp, the project management tool our company uses. Then I'll be doing some cardio. Sunday is kind of my cardio day. And then I've got two more reoccurring events here, which are my wind down period, where I just make sure that I'm off of the computer and not really thinking about work any further. And then I go to sleep right around 11, obviously not falling asleep right away. Typically get, you know, seven or eight hours of sleep. All right. So this morning while I was drinking my coffee, still groggy, which you'll hear in my voice in a moment, I went ahead and just rambled and told structured everything that I needed to get done because it has this really cool dictation AI assistant functionality, which you can find right up here. It looks like a little robot. When I click on this, it's going to start using my either my keyboard. I can type it out if I prefer, or I can click on the little microphone here and just start talking about what I want to accomplish during the day. Now, I found that it's pretty darn accurate. I can even say, 
you know, I want to spend three hours editing video today and it will make an event that is three hours long. All right, enough talking about how this works. Let me show you in reality, me adding all of these tasks right here that you see to my calendar. Now, first of all, what you're going to see is I'm going to show you my screen with my kind of reoccurring tasks in here. So you'll see the twins game. You'll see my cardio, which is also a reoccurring task. But then those other events that you don't see are like walk the dog and go to the grocery store. So here I am actually doing the dictation in kind of my hazy drinking coffee for the first time in the morning tone of voice. My daughter and wife are running around next to me making all sorts of noise. So you don't have to have like complete privacy to do this either. Today I need to walk the dogs, go to the grocery store, record a YouTube video, and review Basecamp. So you can see that it's able to pull out those items from my dictation, and then I can simply add the ones that I got correct to my calendar. And it's going to basically do them in order. And then after the fact, I can go in and rearrange them inside of structured to happen at a particular time. So, you know, maybe I want to go to the grocery store at 10 a.m. because I'm going to go to Costco and they don't open till 10. There's no way structure would know that. Of course, I could have told it, hey, I want to go to the grocery store at 10, but I didn't do that. So I can move this item very quickly and easily to kind of plan out my day. Now, as things get shifted around, like I am recording this YouTube video right now, and I'm actually supposed to be done as of right now. And however, I'm not. So maybe I want to go in and extend this or move it around if I got started late, which I did get started a little bit late. So I could either change this to last longer by either choosing an hour and a half, or I can go into the more screen here and I can choose a specific time increment that I want this to last or the more simple way to approach this, if you literally just got started late, is just slide it around. And I really like this user interface. It's very clean. You can see exactly by the minute when everything is starting and ending. All right, so I just moved it down a little bit. And you can see now I feel like I've got, you know, a good 20 minutes here to finish recording, which should be no problem. I really like that Structured also mentions when you have free time. It's like, hey, you've got 20 minutes free here. Is there anything else you want to do? I could click right there and add a new task. It's even going to suggest tasks based on my previous tasks that I've done. If you've watched this channel for any length of time, you'll know that I'm very much in the Apple ecosystem and have been for several decades. So I use a lot of the Apple default apps like Reminders. So if I want to talk to my phone and have Siri create a task or a reminder for me, I can use the default Reminders app and actually have it show up right inside of Structured because if I go into Preferences here, you can see that you can sync up specific lists inside of Reminders to show up in your inbox of Structured, which brings me to another feature. Structured itself has its own inbox. Now, the inbox is hidden right now, but if I click on this icon right here, it's going to pop open a sidebar where I've got my reminders. Now, these are going to be coming in from Apple Reminders, or I can just create a new one directly inside of Structured. This is the same interface that we saw a moment ago when it was letting me know I had some free time. So let me just add in a task here. So I'm going to do something like, how about answer emails? All right, I can color code this if I like. I'm going to say it takes about 15 minutes. That's just fine. And I'm going to create the task. Now, it shows up in my inbox. So if you're the type of person that just wants to do a dump of tasks or as things go on throughout the day, you either add them to Apple Reminders or you can go into Structured and do this manually. Then when you're planning your day in the morning, you can look in this inbox and just drag items into your day for when you actually can squeeze them in. Using Structured every day has given me a dramatic improvement in my quality of life, not necessarily my overall productivity level because I'm just kind of naturally a fairly productive person. I hate to sit still and waste a lot of time. But what it's done for me is allowed me to really gauge how much I can truly get done inside of any given day. I'm the type of person that thinks I can get about five times more things done than is actually humanly possible. So having a gauge on how much mental energy I actually have available by looking at previous days has become a really valuable tool to say, oh, you know what, that's too much stuff for one day. It would be a great day if I just got these two or three big things done. And then if I still have any, any energy left over, I can go check my inbox and maybe drop a few extra tasks in there. So that's structured. It's only about three bucks a month for a subscription. And that's definitely cheaper than using the paper counterpart 
from Mr. Newport. No offense, Cal. Uh, definitely love your work, but I think this book may be a little bit overpriced. You know, you can definitely grab a notebook if you're a pen and paper type of person. However, that particular feature of being able to talk to the AI assistant and just basically mumble my way through what I want to get done in a day really, really comes in handy because I don't always, rem if, I might start typing out what I want to get done, but by the end, I feel like I've forgotten two or three things where if I just say it, I know I will get everything out inside of a 20 or 30 second blurb of just rambling. So check out Structured. You can get it through Set App or just purchase it directly on the iOS store or Google Play Store, I suppose. I've not really, I've never used an Android phone, so I don't know how that whole thing works, but I'll leave links below for Set App if you wanna check it out. I do have a dedicated video on Set App if you don't know what that is, so I will leave a link to that as well. Maybe you can watch that video next. My name is Dave Swift. This has been Dave's Toolbox. Make sure you like the video, hit subscribe if you want more software recommendations to improve your life, grow an online business. I will be here in the comments answering any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.